I love the holidays because it's great to get the family together, celebrate with good food, good times. It's fun to decorate, but we have to play it safe. So we brought in our expert, Michael McClear of Escape Fire Safety. What are some things families need to keep in mind? This time of year, families love to decorate and use candles, but we need to make sure we use those candles safely, making sure before we leave the room or go to bed, the candle is extinguished, and also make sure we have a one-foot circle of safety, a clear area around the candle so nothing can burn and nothing can catch So kind of the way we have it set up here, I mean, I know it's fun to use them as centerpieces, but you need to definitely have some space. Absolutely, and a safer choice would be the battery-operated candles. They have the same aroma, the ambiance, the, even the flicker, like a real candle, but they're a safer choice, okay. especially around children and pets. And then the rule is if we're going to leave that room, put the candle out? That's right. Never ever go to bed or leave the room while the candle is burning. Never use the candle around young children and small pets because they're very attracted and fascinated by the flickering flame. We need to think safety. You know, those are simple things, but we kind of take it for granted, don't we? We do. We do. Let's talk about smoke alarms because this is that time of year where we're going to be doing a lot of cooking. We're going to have people sleeping in different rooms and all kinds of things happening. What do we need to keep in mind? Well, this time of year, I like to talk about the gift of safety. And a great gift of safety is making sure if those smoke alarms are older than 10 years in age that they're replaced. And also, if, if families haven't already replaced the batteries in the smoke alarms, this would be a good opportunity before we go into the holiday season, as we have home fires that actually peak around the holidays. So we need to think safety. Now let's go to the kitchen. The leading cause for home fires is right here in the kitchen. So we need to remember to stand by your pan and make sure we prevent those fires from happening. If we have young children or small pets, make sure again we're using back burners first so that we don't have young hands reaching those hot burners. And should someone have a fire, put a lid on the pan, making sure that we smother that fire and let that pan cool, turn off the burner, much safer choices. Well, natural reaction is to grab this pan and put it in the sink or bring it outside. Never a good choice because we could get burned or we could spread that fire throughout the home and there's been many case studies that that's actually happened. So a safer choice, again, prevention, stand by your pan and if a fire does occur, turn the burner off, put a lid on it and allow that pan to cool. What about these pan handles? Pan handles should be turned inward so that we don't okay, so have young hands. Yep, yeah, we can go ahead and turn it right inward so we don't have those young hands and uh, curious hands actually reaching up and possibly spilling the hot contents of that pan on themselves. It makes sense. Most of the fires happen right here when we're busy cooking. They do. What about times of day or how we're feeling when we cook? We should always be alert. If someone is on medication or they're drowsy, it's never a safe choice to, uh, to cook. Maybe that's a better opportunity to call out for a pizza or have someone deliver some food to the home rather than take a chance of something happening and us falling asleep and uh, catching our clothes or the, uh, the contents on fire. You know, this time of year, we hear a lot of fires that happen because people are heating with alternative sources, things like the space heater. This seems like a good idea. You have some extra gas, it's a little chilly downstairs in the basement, you, you turn this thing on all night. Yep, but a lot of people will forget and leave it on all night after they go to bed or even leave it on while they leave their home, maybe going shopping or going to church or wherever it happens to be. So we need to make sure that we keep a three foot area clear of that space heater, free from anything that can catch fire, clothing, furniture, newspapers, and make sure that we turn the space heater off when we leave the room. So we can't leave it running all night if we're sleeping in the room? No. No, okay. Not a safe choice. Let's talk about pets because we have Jake, the fire safety dog. A lot of families have lots of pets running around. What do we have to keep in mind? With Jake, pets like Jake and also young children, we need to keep a three foot kid free zone away from the stove or any areas where we're preparing hot foods because children and pets are naturally curious and they want to be in the center of attention. We need to make sure again we think of their safety. They can't anticipate what might go wrong. Safe choices would be to keep them in another room and away from the immediate area of danger. Keep them away from the action. That's right. All right, thank you Michael. We really appreciate it. Thank you Miranda. Escape Fire Safety giving us the gift of safety this holiday season. For more information on these safety tips and more simply head to our website wotvforwomen.com. Now we'll be right back with more of Where You Live. Escape is proud to be a part of Where You Live.